Hey guys and welcome back to my let's play of Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Last time we began our run through free play mode in negotiations so let us continue with... I've already forgotten the name... <laughs> Invasion of Naboo. It was literally just on the screen in front of me as it shall appear on the screen in front of me now. Or not because I can just skip it like that. Right. Let's start with you everyone. Switch you to R4. Now, now I can just run through the level much more easily until he decides to start randomly switching characters again. Which he will. He will. Right, again, I'm not going to bother going after absolutely every stud. Because otherwise some of these parts are going to be like an hour long. Especially most likely spaceport. Because that level is already pretty long. Really? Where are my gun characters? That's better. <laughs> Unless I see a blue stud. <laughs> Always go for the blue stud. And there we go. Yeah, that, by the way, that sound effect is really freaking loud. <laughs> In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the microphone picks it up. Yep, <laughs> destroy the tree and you get a s mini kit. For the most part, I do know where all the mini kits are. <laughs> I just gotta try and memorize some of the ones that have changed location but for the most part I know where they all are such as that one <laughs> I don't remember this one being here before so I'll switch to uh, Jar Jar oh, I can't get up there anyway I shall not switch to Jar Jar there we go where the power where the power will go? Can I not use this as a ghost? <laughs> what happened to my power ball? Okay, and there's still one in there. Of course, some of them are we now have the red power bricks in their place, so that may be one of the main reasons and why some of them have changed location. Okay, we just have to destroy these plants. Hey, imposter! I am Anakin. Oh, hang on, I'm setting a paradox here. This is your future, young Skywalker. Yeah, we've got like three different versions of Anakin here. We've got Ghost Anakin, we've got Vader Anakin, we've got Boy Anakin. How many versions of Anakin do we need? Really? You can just hover over that? Okay, you charge off of this. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> hey, by the way, when you have the stud multiplier on, you are invincible. As in, well, you're not invincible because you clearly died. What I mean is, you don't lose studs when you have the stud multiplier on. Which seems a bit backwards, but <laughs> I mean, they could have just been, they could have done it the really annoying way. And that means that if you have, like, I could be losing four times as many studs. So if I had the adaptive difficulty on, ooh. come on, H how can you not jump over this? Come on. I will say I don't like having the, uh, I don't like having the button, as the uh, character switching on the one and two buttons. It's really, it's kind of weird to do on a Wii mode. Ow. <laughs> switching characters. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, of course that bounty hunter panel wouldn't have been there before because there weren't any bounty hunters in Lego Star Wars 1. Well there was Django Fett, but there weren't any bounty hunter panels. So I'm hoping that I can still get a good number of studs by the end of this because I won't be getting to any of the more multipliers until we get to uh, episode 4. In fact, I think they swapped it around. I think it's now actually in the first chapter of episode 5. I think they swapped it around. Could be when we get to the multiplier by 2. <laughs> and then the last ones are like in the last the last three levels. <laughs> you kind of wish you could just select a specific character. Oh, yeah, it is interesting though how like the one graphical thing they okay 
Remember how the one graphic they didn't change is the appearance of the things you can crawl through. Like it still has the Lego Star Wars one things you can crawl through in the Lego Star Wars one levels. It's like the only time in the game that sort of thing happens. Let the boost stud go. Okay. So this wasn't here before. Well, it was here before, but it, it, it didn't require a bounty hunter. You could just blow it up like the first one. And then you can go around to these mysterious ruins. At least I suppose that's what they are. So if you stand on this thing, and then you can hover over here. Unfortunately, there's nothing over here anymore. I want. And there we go. I do like how this place is. They added so many more plants. It looks a lot better. It adds a lot more to the atmosphere of the place. Good thing to know that these droids are waterproof. Let's just wonder. I wonder if they can rust. If I make them rust. Remember how I was trying to just grab all of those studs as carefully as I could? Okay, up onto this thing. I mean, we've seen all the. We've seen the level. <laughs> we know how it works. Right, and our final thing. Requires us to build this, I think. We should do. Yep, there we go. You can destroy it there. No. All right, let's go. Eventually, don't switch R four. Don't switch. And there we go. <laughs> Boy, there's the, there's the name we needed. <laughs> Poo money. So one of the things that you can buy that doesn't require a power brick, it's known as the fertilizer. It allows certain things you can ride to poo. It does it to the Tauntauns, it does it to the Banthas. I'm not sure if it did it to the Iguana things, but you can make them poo. What poo money does is that that poo then explodes and becomes a stud. Not that many studs, but that's what it does. So, yeah, we can now poo money. So there's like a few additional light. Did they, did they add the scar? Because Ghost Anakin doesn't have the scar. No, no, they didn't. Maybe it just might just be something on the TV. I thought his little image actually had the scar. Okay, so I went into Escape from Naboo. And there is something really annoying about this. Is that I spent ages going back and forth through the level because there was a mini kit I missed. And it turns out that I'm pretty sure it's one that's changed location. One that wasn't there before. So it, it's on a balcony. Just like the one that those droids are on over there. It looks no different from any other balcony, but that's the one that the mini kit's on and I'll get to it when I do. That was extremely frustrating. I was going back and forth and back and forth with that level. Right, there are some metal objects over there that you can break with the bounty hunter. They don't do anything. They don't even give you that many studs. So we're going to ignore those. Because uh, I'm tired of this level now. So by destroying these doors, you can create, you can um, take out these things. That were, it's in no risk of collapsing. I mean, that doesn't look like it would collapse anyway. But to build that, jump up here, and then you will need. I mean, any double jumper can get up there, but you will need your uh, super jump character in order to get any further. Wicket, wicket, grapple, please. Okay, for some reason Wicket's not grappling, even though 
He has a grapple. Why is it not working? That's really odd by the fact that that wasn't working. Yeah, I just want to blast through this now, so just just get through it. <laughs> just take out any, any of the enemies that are in my way. Okay, so this thing wasn't in LEGO Star Wars 1. This is our power brick. So you need to build one there. And you need to destroy this thing. The flowers are just there to give you studs. There's plenty of these in the level, but they like give you less and less studs every time. This got me a bit confused the first time around. So build that. And you use four alarms to blow this thing up. And then we can build that over here. I wish I, I wish I could build Lego pieces like that. Just throw them and they all go into the right place. The ones that need to go into the top of the picture <laughs> need to be pushed to the bottom and the other ones go to the top. They're supposed to go into place. I don't know why that one doesn't want to go into place. That one went into place. So this one goes in up here. I don't know why we don't just push them into the corners, because that's exactly what we're going to do once we put them into these holes. We just push them into the corners, so why don't we just put them into the corners already? Yep. And now we do this. Why didn't we just do that in the first place? And there we go. Now this one you can just barely make with your high jumper. <laughs> like that, that's why it's that's why you can barely make it. And that's our second one. And then they just flat out give you this one. Okay, now for some reason these droids like have a habit of coming back. Oh no, they're here, okay. But again, they're just, just ignoring my partner character. Since when do they do that? That's a complete saga thing. <laughs> right, let's take out the battle droids first. Right, now if we come down here, there's nothing on that ledge, but there is a mini kit over here. Oh, look, that heart is floating in midair. And we have another mini kit on the other side. If I transform, they'll all come after me. Oh look, they're actually attacking you. They are oddly selective with this. Come on guys, at least they're a lot faster at popping up. <laughs> actually no, that's a, that's a bad thing. You could destroy them quite easily before they actually appeared. Like if they when they're rolling you can still attack them. So by the time that they'd finished Oh I have to I have to destroy the flowers, okay. By the time they'd finished uh unloading themselves, you could destroy them most of the time. Yeah, these flowers don't give you as many studs as the last ones, and the next ones won't give you as many as these ones. Okay, and we just make our way back over. You can't glide all the way along there, sadly. Nothing in there but a few studs, not even any big ones, so it's all unnecessary. Yeah, I think that actually has to be on screen in order to aim it. To aim it, that made sense. But now they're going for him. These ones are anyway. These ones are ignoring him. There they go. Oh, and I can actually hit that. Oh, there it is. 
There's my least favorite balcony. The commanders are not in the least bit interested. They're the commanders. Oh, look, he shot. You know, when your lightsaber is glowing like that, that means you got the, the uh, double damage. Which is why that one was able. Which is why I blew that one up in one go. Anakin, <laughs> up here, please. Okay, we'll go there in just a sec. Right. Now this balcony doesn't look any different from the others, but if we open up every single one of these, which was completely optional before, I mean, unless you're going for a hundred, if you're going for a hundred percent, it kind of still is, but you need to open all of these in order to get the mini kit canister to appear. I'm pretty sure this was not in Lego Star Wars 1, and better question now, why is it I can strangle for long? He's a droid. Why does why can I destroy for long? He's a droid. He doesn't have a throat. And that's the alternative way of getting onto this balcony. Ow. <laughs> Suicide attempts is over. This thing looks like a distorted mega mushroom from New Super Mario Brothers, but it's actually Yamanala. In another one of her many outfits for the film. Because <laughs> she has to wear a different outfit in every scene she's in. Doesn't matter. It doesn't at all matter that it makes no sense of when she changed. That's better than a minor thing was happening before. Okay, <laughs> let's do this the fast way. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to activate all of these thingy my bobs. Okay, <laughs> I don't mind you staying as Ghost Anakin for the moment. It is always weird though when the droids actually just, when like the enemies all decide to start following you. Okay, and then that blows up and again in Lego Star Wars 1 we don't see that explosion. It will do the close up, those things will indeed open but the rest of it never, it just randomly fade, it just randomly pops out. Like it is possible to just slightly get it into the camera and you can see it just pop away. I don't know why they decided to do it that way, but that's how they programmed it. Right, so that's our last mini kit. But before we go for that one, there's four of these that we need to destroy, and then we need to put them on top of the switch. So again, in the new in the new hope level. The bonus one. Why couldn't I just catch the spinny thing while it was slowing down? Why do I have to wait for it to come to a complete stop? See you know how much faster it is when you can just catch it in the air? It's a good thing these objects don't just drop to the ground. <laughs> that could certainly break some of them. <laughs> Instead it's like the force is still being used on them only backwards. So we use Jar Jar. Grab that one. And because they're available, we can destroy this one. Now, finally, we can see one new thing that's been, well, it's not new. They were added in Lego Star Wars 2. So, these are not mentioned in the instruction manual. They're not mentioned at all. Purple studs are worth 10,000. They're very rare. They mostly appear in the bonus levels, the mini kit and character bonuses. There you can find them quite a lot and you're going to really need them. 
but in the main levels they are incredibly rare. They become a bit more common in LEGO Star Wars 3. Again, yeah, I don't think the instruction manual actually mentions them in any way. But they can be found in LEGO Star Wars 3 and they're a lot more common there in the vehicle levels. I don't think they really exist in the main levels that much, for the on-foot levels. But there is quite a lot of them in the flying levels when you're flying around the hub world. That's why it's very easy to get all of the mini kit stuff in LEGO Star Wars 3. Like this game has a, a stud cap of four, of 4 billion studs. That is very easy to get to. I have no idea what that is. LEGO Star Wars 3, I have no idea what the max is because you can get the stud multipliers so easily that even once you've gotten all of them and you've bought everything, there's still so much more of the game left to do and you get so many studs for it all. I reached the trillions. It's actually possible to reach the trillions in that game. <laughs> there are all these studs I can get, but there's not much to buy. I mean, there's characters to buy. But you can't really buy any of the important stuff. What is going to be kind of weird is the fact that it's not until we get to the last level in Empire Strikes Back that we will get the mini kick <laughs> detector. One of the prequel levels will contain the power brick detector, but the mini kit detector is uh, not until episode 5, and even then it's the end of episode 5. Anyway, random cut in the middle, which is before the middle. Uh, next up we're going to be heading, oh boy, we've got the short and the long level again. Hopefully this won't take as long, so I will see you guys then.